Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a channel update video for Zebu Nation. You know, it's been a while since I've done one of these so I figured it was time, you know, uh, there's a lot of things going on right now, there's a lot of things not going on right now. You may have noticed there's not, not a lot of videos coming out for me these days, maybe one a week, maybe one every two weeks, it's been, it's been slowing down here and there. There's several reasons for that. Number one, I was just on a vacation, like literally not at home for like a week. So that kind of puts a damper on videos. You can't record if you're not even there. So that, uh, you know, that's excuse number one. Uh, excuse number two, we can blame it on YouTube. Of course, you can always blame things on YouTube. I know that people haven't been getting um, alerted when I, when I put out a video. I know this because I'm subscribed to my own channel. And I've been getting like, I've been getting my uh, notifications like a week late, like really, really late for some videos or not at all for other videos. So I know that's happening, uh, but you know those are just excuses, I guess. Uh, you know the the truth of the matter is that I just like haven't been feeling that well lately. It's just uh, you know the COVID nineteen thing. You know it's got everybody sort of down in the dumps like physical like actual like medical problems and stuff like that nothing too serious but just enough to make it like not have any energy to do anything I know a lot of people are, are dealing with that problem these days they're just like low energy can't do anything and and you know I've suffered from that too uh, and that's you know affected my not just my ability to record videos but just like my desire to record videos and even when I record something I'm like man that was terrible like I sound like garbage uh, but anyway I thought I'd get back into it because uh, you know we had a nice little PUBG run here we haven't been playing PUBG much lately me and the boys um, you know just everybody has been feeling like not doing anything we haven't been you know, haven't been online, haven't been playing games, haven't been doing much of anything. So here we got a little duo match with me and HT. We're just going to run around the map for a while. So there's not going to be a heck of a lot to commentate here so we can kind of, you know, talk about things and, and see what's going on. Uh, of course, we're going to ditch the the van and grab a motorcycle here just to go like five feet down the, down the road. But anyway... Uh, pretty much the only videos I've been able to keep up with for maybe the last year, honestly, have been football manager videos, because those have been those are pretty easy to record. You just hit record and you talk, and then you hit stop, and then you upload. It's like almost nothing to these videos because I put almost nothing into them. Well, I just I just dropped a water bottle. Anyway, um, you know I don't put a lot of effort into my football manager videos. I just record them and throw them up there as is uh, but you know you get into it what you put out of it and lately I've just been not feeling feeling FM not not that I haven't wanted to play just my recordings I haven't liked what I've been putting into them so I've got to ask myself the question is am I gonna like put more effort into this or am I just gonna stop doing it and I'm not sure at the moment I think you know, I think I've, I'm starting to get some energy back. I'm starting to be able to put a little bit more effort and energy into things. So we'll see if I can do that. But uh, you know, for the most part, uh, it's going to be what it is or what it has been for a little while until I until I figure out some new formats or something like that. You know, there is a new football manager coming out pretty soon, FM21. There was just the announcement. I think. Um, October 24th or something like that is the release date for FM 21 so I've got like until then basically to figure out something I'm still doing the uh, Air Force save uh, sort of sporadically but I'll try to like increase the quantity and quality of videos of that uh, if I can I'd still like to do other stuff I'd still like to do more Warhammer videos I'd still like to do like other games but it just it's just not happening. It's one of those things where, you know, I'll buy a I'll buy a game and I'll be like, oh, I could record something on this or whatever, and then I just don't, and I I hardly play the game. I hardly, you know, much less record it. I hardly even play it. So I don't know. I don't know. You know, um, 
my podcasts are also on hiatus. Not really anything to do with me necessarily. Just like other people are like, well, we can't get together. And we've just stopped all the podcasts. So no more Warhammer podcasts. No more comic book podcasts. Uh, so there's really like nothing going on in terms of videos right now. And it's uh, you know it's a little bit disheartening. But at the same time, it's like, you know, it's up to me, right? There's, there's nobody holding me back necessarily. It's just, it's all me. So can I do it? Can I get up the energy to do it? We'll see. You know, maybe, maybe you guys are dealing with same sorts of issues with, you know, it's like I said, it's a common problem. So I don't know. I don't want to sit here and just complain about everything. But uh, I'm feeling good right now. Like I said, I just got back from a little vacation. I went down to um, my best friend's wedding, actually. Um, interesting story. I got talked into being the um, the priest at the wedding. You know, well, I guess I wasn't the priest. I was the person who read the vows, right? Uh, so, like, had to um, check out the rules in their state and see like how to get what do they call it get not anointed I was gonna say get anointed you know a nomine patre uh, anyway you had to like fill out a form and do all this stuff it ended up I didn't actually do the official ceremony so I didn't really have to do any of that we just sort of did a fake ceremony so I, I stood up there and I read the words and we did the ceremony it was fun it was fine everybody uh, you know I didn't mess up any lines or anything like that and they got married so that's good had a fun time at the reception and yeah it was good it was fine that sort of helped me get re-energized a little bit to see like people <laughs> and do things it was the first time I've been anywhere or done anything in like six months so that that helped out a little bit so we'll see uh, what kind of energy boost that gives me See if maybe I can start like going out actually and doing some things now that I'm home. And, uh, you know, the COVID thing is still out there. It's still a real thing, but uh, I don't know. I'll, uh, you know, I have to figure it out. So, you know, that's pretty much the most exciting thing that's happened in a while is actually like getting on a plane and going somewhere. So that was fun. But uh, how that equates to videos, I'm not quite sure, other than just, like I said, the energy boost, feeling good. Uh, let's see, as far as the video here, for commentation purposes, we just got loaded up here. Uh, we decided to uh, drive around and see what's up. I think uh, in a minute here, things are going to get a little bit interesting, but, but for the most part, this video is just me and HT driving around the map for quite a while so what are some other things I've been up to what are some other games I've been I've been playing or buying uh, you know it's one of those things where I've, I've bought so many games recently that it's hard to kind of even remember the games that I bought I know one is Wasteland 3 that's a game that I, I bought and I played and I enjoyed but then I just stopped playing and that's that's kind of what's been happening lately it's like once I start thinking about oh I can start recording I can start doing this that and the other thing I just stop doing it so it doesn't really work out uh, Warhammer type stuff I mean I've, I've worked on some Warhammer projects and I bought some stuff here and there but again you can't get out and play you can't do anything so it's hard to get super excited about Warhammer and put out more videos I could start doing that again. There are a few things, some few ideas I've had, and I could put out a few more of those, but it's just, again, the energy and the enthusiasm level is going to be there or not. All right, so here we are. We've grabbed a plane. This is always fun in uh, PUBG. We can grab a plane and run around. Some people, uh, you know, spotting some people, shooting at some people, having them shoot back at you. It's all fun and games, no problems there. Um, can I vamp for 30 minutes? I don't know about that. We might have to have a little interlude here because, honestly, I've said just about everything I need to say. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. I mean, this is a terrible update video because I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do. You know, normally when you have an update video, it's like, 
I have a plan, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. And honestly, I don't really know. I, I have no plans. Other than I want to do things, but what I want to do, I don't know. And will I actually do it? I don't know that either. So, like I said, the worst update video possible. Other than to acknowledge that I haven't been putting out many videos lately, and this is why. Uh, yeah, so I think we'll sort of go to make a look. Maybe like a musical interlude here or something like that. Speed up the video and get to the end. Okay, I forgot. Something interesting does happen. So again, I lied to you. We're not going to go to the end of the video. We're going to go to approximately the middle of the video. Sort of mess around here uh, and try to land this buzzard. You know, this uh, this side of the map is actually my favorite side of the map. I love with with the hills and the trees, and you know the um, you've got the the lake or the river or whatever that is on one side. So it's, it's a lot less open than the other side of the map. It's a little bit, um, it's a little bit more interesting terrain, a little bit more easy to handle. So I always try to head over to this side of the map. I always try to like, I put my pinpoint a lot of times when we're getting ready to jump out of the plane, like right on this edge of the map, just cause I know nobody ever goes here. So it's always fun. Um, at this point, I'm landing the plane, and I forget how to stop, so I just crash into the fence, and that works out just fine, no problems. Prop keeps running, but at this point, who cares? Uh, we're a little light on gear here, so um, basically anything is, is needed here. I think we've got, uh, you know, not great weapons, not a lot of uh, expendables there. i got to take a little drink to get my health back up. Not great helmet and armor, none of that stuff, so it, it hasn't been uh, a profitable run at this point, but, uh, you know, we're going to make the best of it. We're just kind of having fun at this point. I'm going to let uh, HT loot while I sort of keep an eye out. There's somebody uh, driving away on a motorcycle or a buggy or something. Uh, I know that I, like, like I said, this side of the map isn't usually... Uh, there aren't usually many people on this side of the map, so it's a little weird that somebody's just sort of randomly driving through that that open area. Little bit confusing there, but you know, no big deal. They drove away. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, not a ton of loot here. A little bit, but uh, you know, we'll do our best. We're sort of talking here and uh, trading some items back and forth. Get a, a vertical grip for my scar. Scar is one of my favorite guns. Um, I know a lot of people like prefer the M4 to the Scar, but I, I don't think that's accurate. I think the M4 does. It has a little bit higher rate of fire, I think, and so it does a little bit more damage. I've always had better experience with it. Um, maybe the M4 is a little bit more accurate, but I'm not an accurate shooter, so I prefer a little bit more firepower when it comes to that kind of stuff. Uh, and then, of course, I've got the Winchester here. Not a great gun, but it's the only scope that I have currently, so that's no problem. I really debate here, like, taking the Tommy gun, which is one of my other favorite guns, even though it's, like, a lot of people say it's the worst gun. You can't put a scope on the Tommy gun now, so, you know, more people use it a little bit, but, you know, still, it's just, it's just the coolest gun, like, you know, it's the most iconic, it's the most historic. You know, there's no there's no good reason not to use a Tommy gun other than it's like, you know, a 50-year-old gun or more than that. It's almost a 100-year-old gun. If you think about it, you know, like, yeah, it was around, yeah, it's a 100-year-old gun. What am I talking about? It's It was around in the, the First World War. So, you know, right at the end of the First World War, you know, it was definitely there in the Roaring Twenties. So, yeah, it's a 100-year-old gun. Uh, same with the Winchester. It's over a hundred years old, but still, they're fun guns to use. They still, you know, they're they're battle proven. So the blue's coming in. We're just gonna kind of run, 
run for our lives here. Try to make it across this stupid uh, open area because we were just messing around. And then uh, all of a sudden something something happens here. Something, some unexpected, uh, interesting news happens here. There's somebody shooting. Look at that. Somebody shooting at HT. And there he is. And bammo. Look at that. One shot. One hitter killer with the Winchester. You don't see that very often. At least not for me. I'm not a great shot uh, with any gun. But I haven't gotten too many kills with the Winchester. Even though I use it a lot. You know, especially early game. I'm always grabbing that thing because it has a built-in scope. But, uh, yeah. That was one of my best shots. Uh, definitely of this play session. So I was very happy about that. But the blue's coming in. So I just run. I leave HT back there to loot the body. Because, like I said, we were sort of loot poor. And I think that guy was a bot. I don't know I don't know why a real human man would be hanging out in, in Nowheresville like this. But, um, you know, a kill's a kill, I guess. Uh, he was moving. He was strafing. So it wasn't like he was just standing there. I still think it was a good shot, whether that was a bot or not. Uh, but, yeah, now we just got to we gotta get in. The blue is coming in, and we got to make sure that we uh, we get in the circle because this is this is one of those games when you start when you start just driving around the map like we were or flying around the map even when you start doing that you kind of uh, can lose can lose sight of the circle <laughs> which we did for sure and uh, that's a good way to lose in PUBG is to to miss the circle and uh, just start taking all that damage. Now the interesting thing, I did see that PUBG, maybe by the time this video comes out, PUBG has a new um, a new gadget that you can get somewhere in the game. I don't know where, I, it's, I don't think it's out yet. It might be on the test servers or whatever. But there's a gadget, a, like a, a jammer, I think is what they call it. It disrupts the blue, so you can stay in the blue a little longer without taking damage. Now this device does have like a battery, so it has like a shelf life or something like that. It only lasts, I don't know how long it lasts. It can't last more than a few seconds, I don't think. Maybe 30 seconds at the most. If it lasts more than that, it could become a little bit too powerful. So I don't know if they've tweaked it or or what. But hopefully they have tweaked it somewhat. Because it's uh, it could be very powerful and very annoying. Because, you know, if you remember PUBG from the old days when the blue was really slow and not very strong people would just hang out in the blue taking damage and picking people off because it wasn't that big of a threat and th those days were pretty annoying because it's hard to look back into that blue area and see so they can see you better than you can see them and until you know unless PUBG fixes that that would be super annoying for uh, somebody to be able to just hang out in the blue again like it was the olden days. All right, speaking of the blue, we're in it right now, running through it, taking damage. So that's not good. Um, and one thing uh, I sort of got sidetracked before was some of the other games I've been playing. I mentioned Wasteland 3, but of course I've been playing Fall Guys, like everybody's been playing Fall Guys. It's fun. Uh, would I record videos of Fall Guys? I don't know, maybe here and there. Maybe for something like this, I could record some Fall Guys. That would be fun. But I don't know if it would be like a series. You know, everybody's doing Fall Guys these days, so it wouldn't be anything new or interesting. I've been playing a lot of Hearts of Iron as well. You know, big, massive strategy game. I don't know that that's great for recording. I don't know that that's great for showing videos. So I don't know. Uh, I just bought... Uh, Untitled Goose Game. It's on Steam now. It, it's been out on the Epic Store for a while and consoles and stuff like that. But, um, you know, again, everybody's already recorded Untitled Goose Game, so I don't know that that's a great thing to record either. And uh, I've also been playing Necromunda here and there. It's an interesting game. It's a neat, fun little game, but again, I don't know how recordable it is. Other than maybe for Warhammer time, like if I do a Warhammer Wednesday or every, I mean everybody does Warhammer Wednesday. But if I did a Warhammer series, I could use that as my as my 40k game to play in the background as I talk about whatever 
Warhammer stuff I'm doing. You know, um, I've thought about starting to get back into doing the comic book things. I haven't really read any comics in a while. You know, I haven't gone to the comic store or anything like that. So I'd have to start doing that again before I did any comic stuff. I had been reading a lot of Warhammer novels and things like that, so I could talk about that. Um, you know, I don't know. I've been uh, I've been thinking about doing cooking videos as well. You know, I did, of course, that MRE video, and that was fun. That was interesting. I don't know that I'd do more MRE stuff, but I could do more taste test stuff. I could do some cooking stuff. But again, that would require a lot more effort than what I'm doing right now. That would require me to like set stuff up in my kitchen and Lord knows what. So I don't know about that. Um, I do have a house that's from the 1940s, so it's not incredibly like uh, handy for doing modern things <laughs> like recording videos and having lights and electricity and all that stuff. It's uh, you know it's a little inconvenient for that kind of thing. So I don't know that I don't know how practical that would be without doing some, you know, a major project of some kind. But it's it's stuff I've talked about, or thought about rather. Never talked about it before, but uh, you know, first time for everything. Anyway, uh, HT and I were sort of driving around through the desert trying to keep up with the circle. Um, using a vehicle on this map is difficult because the terrain is so so bumpy and so hilly. It can get you in trouble. Um, but sometimes it's the only way to keep up with the circle. And, and it helps you get ahead of the circle, which we needed very badly. You know, having, some, having been stuck in the blue for a while. And now we're, uh, we're getting, you know, we're getting close to the end here. We're getting top 20. And, uh, you know, it's time to get serious. We're stuck in the blue a little bit here, but we're, you know, we're going to make it out. No problem. And now it's time to, uh, to think about the final circle. You know, this is, this is coming to the end. So I still got, I mean, we're still so badly geared. I've only got like a couple of, you know, I don't have a lot of ammunition. I don't have a good gun here. I've got the Winchester which I got a kill with granted but you know when you get down to the final circle people are gonna have like you know the good guns once you get down into the circle they're gonna have the good sniper rifles and I've got you know the beginner sniper rifle so it's not gonna be a great time I don't think take a drink of my Boylan's ginger ale that's another thing I haven't done in a while is uh, my fancy soda time, which I used to do in my videos all the time. Uh, because I haven't really been buying many fancy sodas. I haven't been going to the fancy store to get the fancy sodas. So it's about as fancy as it gets is boiling cane sugar ginger ale. Been on a ginger ale kick. I don't know how relevant that is to anyone. But, uh, you know, the old Canada Dry will get you through. You know, I've been trying to, you know, intake less sugar and salt and stuff like that. That can always help uh, with your mood. It can also hurt your mood sometimes, you know, not getting that caffeine, not getting that stimulus. Um, but it's all in the name of greater health and prosperity, I suppose. But yeah, uh, taking... Uh, Taking some uh, cautionary steps here, you know, because like I said, we're getting down to the end, and uh, we're—I think we spotted somebody over here. To the uh, what direction is this? I see. Recording these narrations, it's hard to see the video because the video is like super small, so it doesn't help a lot. But uh, we're taking shots at the moment, looking for these uh, these chuckleheads. You can see my health is pretty low. I've taken a couple hits, so I'm going to go hide in this barn uh, and see what I can do. Grab a new helmet, lay down, yeah, yeah, try to, uh, you know, hopefully HT doesn't die before I can heal, but, you know, they're coming. The bad guys are coming, and I'm trying to not die in one shot, which uh, I will pretty much do if they hit me here. 
HT is doing his thing. He takes the guy down, and I, uh, I miss a few shots here, and he he comes after me, but I'm just trying to delay him long enough for HT to get around. He takes me down, and then HT takes him out. So you know, I guess I, I guess that worked as a distraction, I suppose. Um, not great for my confidence, that's for sure. Where I had the guy was healing his partner, and I had a gun with a scope on it, and I totally missed him twice with two shots. That was wonderful, wonderful. All right, let's heal up. Let's try this again. <laughs> let's uh, don't have a lot of time. The circles coming in. I wonder if I can expand the video. I cannot expand the video. So I'm just going to have to do this by memory. I actually recorded this like two weeks ago, maybe more. This video, not not the audio. So I'm, I'm recording the audio over a video that I did two weeks ago. I'm trying to remember the details as I sort of look at a tiny, tiny version of the video. It's fun is what I'm trying to, trying to say. It's, uh, it's not all uh, easy. Sometimes making these videos can be a little challenging. All right. So we got a decent position here. We got a nice ridge. Uh, there's not a ton of guys left. You know, if there's anybody that direction, we could be in danger. But you know, I, I like this ridge. I like staying behind it. Let those guys shoot it out. And we've only got to look like two directions basically. We got to look that way and the opposite direction, and that's it. Um, cause nobody can shoot us from over the hill. They can only shoot us if they flank. So we've got a good position. It, it all just depends on will we get a good circle. Time to energy drink up. So HT laying low. Um, you know, we gotta move here for the circle. Eventually. But right now we're just deciding which way to go. Do we go north or south? The south direction is a little bit wide open, so we head north. I got a four-time scope off that other guy, and we spot some guys uh, down by that rock. Again, uh, I'm not the greatest shot, and this isn't the greatest gun, so it's kind of a bad combination. I almost shoot HT at that point. <laughs> I'm getting hit. I don't think I'm doing any damage to them as far as I can tell. But I'm just trying to lay some covering fire while HT advances on their position. Uh, at some point here, uh, HT goes down, and those guys start battling someone else. I think this is the point right about here. So I'm looking around, I'm, I'm looking, and at, at one point here I realize that it's down to three people, which means me, one, HT, two, and another guy, three. So it's basically 1v1 right now with HT down on the ground. So I get a little aggressive. I start, I start searching for this guy. HT is calling out, saying, you know, where he might be. So I'm just circling. I'm circling. There he is. I spot him up on that rock. Um, and then I get aggressive, pull out the scar, start throwing grenades, it's party time. That was a flashbang, I think. Yeah, that was a real grenade. Just trying to, like, distract the guy. And then there he is, look at him, he's in the sights, he's down, and we win. How about that? How about a victory... For HT and Zebu Nation duos doesn't happen very often. I'm trying to resurrect HT before the time's up, just so he can celebrate. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. So that's the end of the video, the end of uh, this terrible update video. But there you go. Uh, we'll see what happens in the future. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye bye. I guess.